I'm Seymour, I'm at the University of St. Mark's in John. I'm on a group exercise instructor at the So what I'm going to show you today is a six minute sofa workout. It's a workout routine that anyone can do at home. We need a chair or a sofa. Before you start the exercises, I want to make sure that you warm up. So I'm not going to do the whole warm up, I'm just going to show you some examples. So we've got some jogging on the spot, we do some knee lifts, some heel lifts, some rolled shoulders, got some star jumps. So we're looking for the warm up. It's looking about three, three, four minutes, just kind of gradually get your heart rate up, just so you're ready to start start the exercises. So I so said there's, there's a beginner level, an intermediate level, and an advanced level. And you can do this routine just six minutes long. And the intervals for the beginners, you can go with 30 seconds intensity, 30 second recovery. For intermediate, do 20 second intensity, 20 second recovery. For the advanced, we do 20 seconds intensity, 10 second recovery. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the beginner. I'm going to demonstrate each each of the movements. So there's three moves on in each section. Okay. So I'm going to start the routine. The first one is going to be simply sit and stand. So sit, sit stand. So keeping the chest up, arms out. Just use the legs to squeeze in. Push up. So this is the beginner move. So squat, sofa squat. Okay. And then we're going to move on to the second. Beginner move. Yeah. And this one, I'm just going to count the front of your sofa. On the cores, just pump it in front and stand. And then we can just rotate your legs. As I said, this is the beginner move number two. Beginner move number three, just going to be a little toe taps on the front of your sofa. You can also use a chair as well. Just going to tap it into the back. So each of these moves, you're going to do 30 seconds, 30 second recovery, and you do each one twice for the duration of six minutes. So that is the beginner workout. The intermediate workout, we're going to do the same moves with slight progression. This squat sit is now going to be a squat jump. So as you sit up, you push up, and you jump. Okay, intermediate move number two. So for that, arms out. So this one is intermediate move number two. Intermediate move number three is going to be the same toe taps. Jump in, quickly move, use your arms, and there's a little bit of bounce to it. It's a little bit more intense, a little bit quicker. For the intermediate moves, each exercise should be for 20 seconds. 20 second recovery for the six minutes you'll do each one three times okay for the advanced section it's going to be 20 seconds on 10 second rest and it's going to be each move four times so advanced move number one is going to be squat slip top jump squat slip top jump squat slip top jump advanced move number two it's going to be a one-legged burpee. For each of your 20 seconds, do one with your right leg, the next one left leg, then right leg, then left leg. So basically, it's going to be on the, the next round, you'll then use the opposite leg. Advanced move number three is going to be like the toe taps, but it's going to be a high kick. So basically, it's a kick. Touch on, like it, touch on, like it, touch on. Just a little bit more intense, a little bit higher, a little bit more explosive. So that is our beginner, intermediate, and advanced options for the sofa workout. Everyone can give this one a try. All they need is a sofa, a chair, and a little bit of space. When you finish your workout, make sure you do some after workout stretches. So some examples could be use a forward stretch. Generally, you want to hold the stretches at least 15 seconds, just static holds. And again, do it, do it on both, both legs. We're not going to do the whole routine, I'm just going to show you some examples. You can also use a hamstring stretch, which is going to be the back of this leg that you're stretching. Again, do the same on the opposite side. You can also do a calf stretch, which is going to be this leg straight, this leg bent. Bring it forward. 
and you can do the same way. So, so with the stretches, again, looking about a three, four minute stretch session, at least 15 seconds on each minute. There's lots of different stretches you can do. Just showing you some of the kind of most important ones. Shake it out. Hold the shoulders. Okay. Hope you enjoyed the workout. Let us know how you're getting along. I'll speak soon. Look out for next week's edition.